Alright guys, today we're going to be checking out the S23 versus the S25 full speed test with the One UI 8 update here. So very excited to do this one for you guys. And uh, let's just get a fresh boot up here. The best thing about the S23 series is that this phone is Snapdragon Global, so you don't have to deal with the inferior Exynos chipsets. And um, yeah, the S23 is very cheap. It's a phone that I highly recommend. I'm, we're talking about well below 300 bucks uh, these days. And uh, yeah, so we got Snapdragon, you know, 8 Gen 2 on the uh, S23, and then we have the Snapdragon 8 Elite. And um, yeah, so I'm curious to see if we'll see any performance difference. Now, the S23, the base model is 8 gigabytes of RAM, but that's 8 gigs throughout all the uh, storage configurations. This is 12 gigabytes uh, of RAM, so we'll see a difference in multitasking, but might not see a difference in animations. All right, let's get started. Just confirming that we have Android 16 on both. Started, we got Subway Surf. Be pretty, you know, uh, shocked if there's any like major difference between these two phones. Animations looking pretty similar. Google Earth. Okay, everything looking pretty good. Actually very close in speed here. Looks like the S25, you won't really notice any difference until you maybe, you know, load up a game. Oh, it actually beat it there in Temple Run. I was not expecting that. I like how it did that as soon as I said it's faster in games. All right, Snapchat, the same time. Wow, this is a lot closer than I, I was thinking. This is a lot closer than the S20, uh, the Ultra models with the S23. Like you can see a little bit of a difference there, but this is like, you know, almost spot on when it comes to performance. Like they're loading up almost at the same time. Okay, Spotify. Eight ball. Okay, S25. It's a little bit ahead. Camera. We'll come back to the camera app. Some things I want to test. So far, the animations are looking really good on the S23. Very excited to see what Samsung does for 8.5. Um, they're supposed to be, you know, improving animations. We're supposed to be getting new stuff. So it'd be pretty nice to see how that all works. Maybe we can run these tests back again. But um, yeah, so far, so good. No major differences. And one thing I'm noticing with the base model, we're not getting those weird animation glitches like we were getting on the S22 and sometimes even on the S23. When you uh, come out of an app and landscape, Okay, so we can see the difference here in performance here. We got, you know, the three cores, six cores, and then um, basically we just pop into our PUBG. PUBG is an app is kind of weird. You, not PUBG, <laughs> but uh, Geekbench. Geekbench 6 is an app that you kind of have to run multiple times, but these are like the scores that you would typically get, like the best scores here. So you can see a bit of a difference there, you know, almost 9,000, you know, almost 5,000, 18, 26. So it's a nice little score bump up for sure. But realistically, this is why you always have to show people the speed and the side-by-side -side comparisons because anybody can just throw some scores up and you'll be thinking it's so significantly faster when in reality it's really not. Okay, Angry Birds, a little bit more demanding here. All right. S23 is, this is probably the biggest gap we've seen so far. I don't know why. All right. Now the S23 is in there, so that's like the biggest gap we've seen. 
YouTube. Okay. Instagram. Not bad. TikTok. All right, so these are very similar in performance, as you guys can see for your reference. I mean, I mean, big jump when it comes to the graphics performance here, as you guys can see, you know, pretty much, you know, over double uh, the overall score here, 18 frames, almost 40 frames, 12, 26, 24 to 50. So you're getting a big, you know, GPU uh, bump up here. But like I said, realistically, is it gonna matter here? So let's check out multitasking, see if we still remain smooth. Okay. All right. All right, so far, okay, we got a restart. Yeah, so it restarted on Discord. So you guys can see again the difference between the 12 gigabyte of RAM versus having eight gigs, it, it definitely makes a difference for you guys who are heavier multitaskers. But like I was saying earlier, we see no difference in animations on the S23. It's still keeping up with the S25 as far as remaining smooth. Let's try a heavier application, PUBG. And um, gaming performance is you know, roughly going to be the same on both of these phones. Like I said, there's a big, you know, GPU uh, difference when we look at Wildlife Extreme. So the S25, it is really quick. It's in a PUBG, actually, super quick there. It's a very quick phone when it comes to gaming performance. Um, but realistically, for the most popular titles people play, PUBG, Call of Duty, Genshin, stuff like that, for how most people play mobile games, it'll feel virtually the same. So again, when it comes to games like PUBG, we can still play at 120 frames on the S23. No major heating issues on the Snapdragon version. And uh, if you do game a lot on your phone, be sure to let us know your experience with uh, the S23 models. You know, it could be a Plus or the Ultra, uh, but it's the same thing, you know, same performance, like I said. 120 frames, really, really smooth. So again, like, yeah, maybe things that are a little bit more intense, like emulators, some stuff that you might need a little bit more power for. Um, but other than that, like, we'll check out some video editing, check out the camera, camera app. But so far, it is really not that much smoother, guys. The camera speed here, so we come in here, I mean, we could, yeah, they feel pretty much identical in terms of being able to open, you know, take your shot if you need to get something. And um, as far as the zooming, so this is kind of, you know, a thing that you might notice. The zoom might look a little bit smoother on this 8 Elite processor, especially when you zoom all the way and you bounce back from one or you bounce back to one. You know, it's really a switch from the telephoto lens and then you switch out to like uh, the ultra wide. The S23 is still pretty smooth, but it is very subtle, but the, the zooming is definitely a little bit smoother. Yeah, but it's it's very subtle, so it's not like not like not like a big thing. All right, let's check out the render test. We got a 4K one minute video. Three, two, one, save. Start our timer. And uh, this is probably you know the biggest difference that you'll see with this type of phone here is that it does render stuff you know a little bit quicker, especially if this was a longer video then you probably you know notice it a little bit more but as you guys can see it's definitely getting ahead of the S23 here so i would say pretty uh, you know decently noticeable here all right so it was able to render that one minute video in 27 seconds 
and our S23 is about done here, which is not bad. All right, so about 41 seconds for the S23. Again, not terrible. So both phones, let's see, S25, definitely warm. S23 is now definitely warm. Both of them are not burning to where it's uncomfortable. They're just, they're just warm now. And I would say, yeah, I would say the S25 feels a little bit cooler. So that is basically it. Let me know what you guys think.